Why do pro players kill faster than you? Well, I'm here and I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to give you guys three tips, three reasons why. And of course, you know, these are things that people talk about sometimes. But today's video, I'm going to be talking about going in depth while playing some CDL playlists and hopefully killing some people very, very fast. Now, internet, yes, internet, the number one thing, has been talked about for ages, for years, for a million. No, okay, it hasn't been that long because internet, you know, okay, bye. But internet is obviously a big factor and a lot of people like to talk about internet about speeds and you know me like i really don't want to use this as like a tip or an example but i think in this video it is just only right if i you know for me to do so so internet is obviously a big thing and it's a big factor when it comes to you know just having good connection to online and doing well online so a lot of people think like, oh, I need to have the best internet ever to perform or to be able to compete with the best. If I don't, I'm just going to die. Where that is true. You do want good internet, but it's not the end of the world if you don't have the best internet. You can still compete with the top. It's still going to be pretty good for you. It's just, it's not the end of the word, world. And I need you guys to understand that. So a good example I can give you guys is if I have five download, let's say, and five upload, and, the, and you have 50 download and 50 upload, Yes, you're going to have a slight advantage over me, but it's not going to be a big difference, man. It's not going to be the end of the world difference where it's like, okay, I can't kill this kid ever. And what you guys also got to understand, it's not only about your connection. It's also about the server and the ping and where it's you're pinging to and what, what like host is it? What server is it? You get me? So like, for example, let's say it is in Alabama and you live in Cali. You're not going to ping well. That's just how it is. And if you don't ping well, well, you're not going to probably play well and you're going to get joked. But it's not because your internet is trash. It's just the ping and the host, you know? They can't kill me because I'm freaking cracked because I'm killing so fast. So another example I can give you guys about internet. Let's say I have 500 download and 50 upload. And you have 200 download and 40 upload. It's not... I have two times your speeds, but it's not... I'm going to have a very slight advantage over you. It, you know, what's going to be more important is, like I said, the host and the server. That's what's really going to come down to. Now, obviously, if you have like 10 download and like 5 upload, I have 500 download and like 50 upload. That's where there is going to be a big gap and there is going to be a big advantage. But don't think like, yes, I would love for you guys to have better speeds, better internet. If you can afford it, if you can have it, do it. It's going to be better for you in the long run. It's going to have, there's going to be more consistency in your gameplay and obviously in your internet connection your speeds you're going to connect better to places that are farther away from you so it's going to get easier for you in general but it is not the end of the world if you don't have the best speeds in the game like right there that guy definitely has a thousand by a thousand as you can clearly see he killed me super fast now me i have 800 by 40 i think so you can tell yeah <laughs> he has the advantage over me i'm totally kidding that's not why i died he just cameraed me <laughs> now that we have the internet nonsense pretty much put aside what's well, not really nonsense i gave you guys a little insight on it and what i think uh obviously you guys can take what i said and you know apply it or try to get better speeds whatever cases but understand don't let that ruin your confidence don't let that change you you know you know that you can still perform at a really high level as long as you have decent internet but now that i talked about basically i brought up cameraing uh a second ago or 20 seconds ago now probably um that is actually the next thing i'm going to be talking about so a lot of people don't understand or maybe don't see this but cameraing is the big reason why pro players kill so fast you know if you're pre-aiming around the corner and i jump around the corner and catch you off guard before you can react and it just it feels like what the fuck like he killed me so fast like i couldn't even shoot back like how did he just kill me so fast and when that, which that is the case, like that right there, that's like a mini camera, which that is the case. Like, yes, I did kill you fast, but it's because I cameraed you. And I made a whole video, a YouTube video on how to camera. And it's definitely very, very good to do. And pro players abuse it, like literally abuse it like that. Couldn't react bye bye it's sad and as always guys little quick thing make sure to drop a like in the video guys man i really do appreciate all the likes all the love in my videos recently you guys are spreading it the love and i'm just trying to be here and help you guys get better and do better you feel me you feel me oh okay this guy's just a joke okay <laughs> i can't kill him so like i said i dedicated a whole youtube video on how to camera and you guys can check that out whenever you want killed me again but this guy's actually pretty good this slime kid he keeps uh cameraing me and killing me and doing well 
but like basically what camera means is to come around a corner and just kind of challenge really fast around a corner and catch someone off guard kind of like that and as long as you have good aim which is pretty easy to acquire eventually uh as long as you have really good aim you can you know camera people just as well as almost any pro player it's it's a mix of movement and having good aim and understanding how to camera once you have those three things down you could base you basically master master camera and then you just do it all the time and cameraing in another way is it's basically considered peeker's advantage i guess that is what it's called in other games uh it's what it's been brought up as and in call of duty and pros they basically call it cameraing so you basically what you're doing is breaking the camera you're breaking the the camera on your screen uh, you're going faster when it really is and you know for that reason you basically beat that the game can't basically it can't load you on their screen you fast enough so you basically beat them um by like a tick in the server a couple ticks in the server by a millisecond a couple milliseconds and that's why like in 60 hertz and 120 hertz and 144 hertz whatever the case is that's why in higher hertz um games and lobbies uh it's actually harder to camera you can still camera don't get me wrong like if you want okay i can't kill this kid i have a, I have a mental block <laughs> i just missed but you can still camera but it's harder to it's harder to camera because the the refresh rate is a lot better the, obviously you have more hertz so it's just harder to do things like that but overall cameraing is one of the best ways to uh basically kill people faster and you know I, it really takes a lot of practice and really understanding that sometimes it's better to not just sit there and hold a frame Sometimes it's better to just challenge out, just challenge aggressively, fly at someone. You know, it's gonna help you secure some kills sometimes. That guy must has to be pissed the way I just killed him. Oh. Yeah, here's the stun, here's the nade, here's the smoke, and here's the apathy chow. So, for example, let's say it's a guy right there. If I do this, I'm killing him every time. I was gonna do it right there to show you guys, but he ran away from me. Because he's a little. What is he, guys? I see. I right there. I would have killed him too. I I I, I, I essentially camered him there, and all I did was miss shots. My thumb is not in a good in a good situation right now. It hurts a little bit, so I'm kind of missing right now a little bit. But literally just a camera. Like I would have killed him any time of the day if I just hit my shots. This is actually unbelievable. That we're playing cave and the time is running out without even securing 200 points yet. My teammates are actually the smart. This says screw this. I'm getting off the hill. Hey, you gotta respect it. A dub's a dub at the end of the day, man. All right, guys. So we got some Azir Cave again, and hopefully, uh, we can actually secure 250 points this time, and, and it doesn't have to be, you know, just like a weird game that ends halfway. And a nice little beam session right there. Headshot, long shot. And I'm really curious what you guys think, like, about cameraing. Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's broken? Uh, it's been in Call of Duty for years, man, because a lot of the lobbies are just 12 hertz uh 20 hertz 15 hertz just you know so so low man oh oh my god so for tip number three and the last pro tip on how to kill fast as a pro player and why pro players kill so fast the last tip and the best one is centering now centering is a big reason why pro players get to kill faster than usual and something that you know beginners and amateur players sometimes aren't the best at and require some practice now centering is very 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 important because basically your your crosshair is already basically centered on where a guy's gonna be or where a guy will be eventually so basically you're just ready to snap on him at any time if your center's good you can get some insane kills uh, you get some very fast kills and people will be mind blown sometimes like damn how did he kill me so fast or how did he snap on me now obviously you know sort of when you're running around the map and maneuvering around the map you kind of want to be looking at where you're going it makes sense as your character is going to be going wherever your crosshairs are at that's basically how you play call of duty but little things like centering everywhere you go perfectly actually having really good centering and really focusing on every little thing like so let's say i'm i'm coming around here and now i'm gonna turn here i'm gonna center right here Maybe I'll throw a nade and I'll keep centering, keep centering, maybe aim in. And then now I'm gonna center over here. And I'm not always gonna aim in. Oh my god, beam that guy. Teammate, kill him. I got him, don't worry. And I'm not always gonna aim in. When you're centering, you don't wanna just be aimed in all the time. That's the point of centering. Centering is just having your crosshairs ready whenever it's gonna be a guy. And all you have to do is aim in as soon as you see him. So I'm gonna center here. I centered here. You wanna center, it was close. And then I'm gonna center here. And then I'm gonna go. And basically, that's how you can center. I center low, see a guy top, I'm gonna aim top. Now I'm gonna center high, 
Center, 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 center. As I'm running, center. Go back. And the thing is, when when it comes to centering, when you're already centered on someone, all it all it is after is some micro adjustments. Oh my God, I just can't die today. I'm just on fire. So basically, like I'm centered here, centered here. And like the reason why centering, it's not only about centering guys, because maybe you guys do center, some of you guys do, uh, but you guys don't do it at a high level and a very like folk, like serious level. You guys just sort of like half-ass center. And half-ass centering is not always going to get you those kills, those insane kills. It's not always going to, you know, you're just going to freaking snap on someone and literally just kill someone super fast and beam them. Um, it just takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of effort to center a lot of things and always center. So I know the guy back here. He's actually holding this. So you guys saw that. So get, I did camera him right there. That's a perfect example of camera. He's probably mind blown. I cameraed him, but like I was already centered on him. And as soon as I went like, as soon as I went like this, all I had to do was aim in. And I literally had a free kill basically. Now I'm going to spawn kill him. Spawn kill two. Spawn kill three. These guys are probably just mind blown at me right now. Shouldn't spawn here. They should spawn deep cave unless we flipped out. Oh, this one's under me. Okay, that guy's just a bot. What's his name? Grip61905. Oh, this guy's... Okay. Guy blue. Center. Got broken. Center back up there. Snap on him. Kill him. Center low. Guy's gonna snap on me. So something you notice when you watch pro players, like... You center, but things you, you, you keep on centering. So you center and you keep following the center. And you have to do it slowly. Because if you do this... Like, if you just snap your stick around... You're not, you're never going to be precise. See how I try to snap back here, but like I ended up here. That's why doing it slowly is important because you, your center will always be on point if you do it slowly because you're just making slow adjustments, which is very easy to control with a stick. So I'm going to back up here because they're actually, when you're spawning cave here, a quick tip, uh, means they're usually broken side or already LP5 over here to my left. So I'm going to do the vet, the, the vet strat, the vet route. I'm going to take the long route back, clear out the left. There's definitely a guy probably behind us. That's one of them. Get two. Center slowly. Hit the prem, snap. This is actually another quick spot, guys, for you guys. Really good head glitch. I guarantee you it, they will not kill me, no matter how much they try. But my teammates just stealing my thunder, taking my kills. Like, this guy stands no chance. Like, you see him trying to shoot me? He didn't hit a bullet. This shit's so good, man. Oh my god, I'm like getting all assists and lighting my teammates up. Look at this guy. Even the people who have a better angle, me, like, getting some. Dude, they got to be heated. So something, like I said, pro players are really good at. And the reason why, like, some of you guys are probably still puzzling and wondering, like, how does this make you kill faster? Why are you saying, like, this is why pro players kill fast? Well, the reason is, is because you're basically able to react and snap on someone faster than what you would normally. So you kill someone slightly faster, you know, a slightly faster speed. It's not the same as like if I wasn't centered and you come around a corner or you come from somewhere and like I'm just not ready for you. You see like how I did that right there? Like obviously I shot, saw a shot to the right. I went like this. I was centered on him. You saw how fast I killed him? Centering just makes everything easy. Hit the bunny hop right here. Dude, I love bunny hopping at high areas like this. Like, not me. No, no, no. Not today. So you guys can see, like, I slide cancel into my center. So I'll use my slide cancel to get closer, and I center here. See? Because I knew there was another guy there. Slide cancel. Center. I also, I also like slide cancel. Slide cancel to center. I'm going to challenge this guy. I've never been a bitch. I've been a bitch. I've been a bitch. We're supposed to win, but now we're, like, not winning. Center. Wow. That is... That's good, brother Steve. Specialist bonus achieved. I've, you know it's me because I have like 70 kills, right? If I didn't have 70 kills, you would not think it's me. Nice little camera right there. Camera to the pre-aim. Oh, I didn't even get the 60 kills. All right. Well, that's for you guys right there. 58 kills. Some great gameplay. Some great tips. Hope you guys seriously enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button. Please smash that like button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel. It helps out me. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. Did you like the video? What do you think? What do you think I could have done better? Would you like to see more tip videos? And I'm out. Peace. I, I, I checked earlier. He wasn't streaming. Oh, I know. Hey, if you're trying to get some reps in because... Okay. I'm doing a video. Okay, bye.